mega awesome. This is a game called Gravity Circuit, and I've been interested in this because I've heard some good things about the demo here. It's not done yet, but I want to check it out. Maybe you like certain blue robot people who shoot. Well, maybe you'd like this. That's the impression I get. So, uh, we'll check it out. Thanks for clicking on the video here. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that, but yeah. So there's the dude. I guess his name is Gravity Circuit. Okay, so here's some basics. Uh... Okay, we got jump, we got punch, sounds good. I like that the visuals feel like NES visuals, but um, are a little bit better. Especially some of the um, background effects and also the scarf. Okay, so controls are very familiar. I see. Hook shot. Oh, we get a hook shot. Hook shot also damages enemies. Whoa! I heard it like a Mega Man chord. There, there's like a little progression in the music that, that reminded me of Mega Man in a good way. Also, speaking of Mega Man, there's also a Mega Man X, I think it's a ROM hack, it, it could be its own standalone thing, but it's called like Mega Man X Corruption, and I watched some footage of it, and it looks incredible. So there's definitely some good Mega Man stuff being made by Mega, Mega fans. Oh, you can throw a ball. Alright, so this, yeah, this game is really doing its own thing with the concept. Holding a direction will result in different attacks. Ah, I see. Time for your specialty. With your power as Gravity Circuit. As a gravity circuit, you can harvest burst energy from objects and defeated foes. When the gauge is full, you get one burst energy charge. They can be used to unleash powerful attacks by pressing Y. Holding a direction or not holding a direction will influence which technique. Okay, so you get, like, spin. You get one of those. There's no, um, attack for, like, down, but you do get, like, an uppercut. Explode into sphere. Gravity circuit. Gravity circuit. All right. Approaching target, the deadly cutsman. Who's this guy? Power circuit. Oh, I see. I get it. That's fun. Oh, I love it already. Just, just the visuals. Gain burst energy by attacking and overkilling enemies. Gain the ability to jump again in the air. Oh, they give you a bunch to experiment with. Increase hookshot attack power and knockback. 
Reduce health loss from incoming non-hazard damage. Reduce fall speed by holding the jump button. There's a lot of stuff here. Extends the range of regular attacks. Burst techniques, we got uh, Cycle Kick. Clone Array. Oh, okay, now I have a down special. Emergency Heal. Clones. I will be honest, I was expecting to be able to shoot. But that would be too obvious, wouldn't it? Oh, I see. There you go. I definitely didn't need to use that there, but... That's mega awesome. Good satisfying um, combat physics. What's this? Oh, you can do a thing? Uh, oh. I'm assuming that's... that's Heal. Help. Thank you! Okay, so you gotta rescue dudes in the stages. Music is good. Yeah, that was just a waste of money. I guess it gave me some energy too, but... I don't know, that just kind of looks like a secret area of some kind. Mega Man is known for its secret areas. Well, not specifically known, but, you know, somewhat known. It's like me saying it, Mega Man is known for Dr. Light, after all. I mean, that's part of it. <laughs> oh, overkill. Clone Array is up. Oh, okay. I mean, you do get enough money that you can use these pretty frequently. Yeah, secret. Even the spikes look familiar to me. I know they're not the same spikes, but they're they're inspired spikes. The hook does a fair bit more damage than I was expecting.
Oh, and then you can use the hook to throw your enemies at other enemies. Oh shit, ow. Oh shit, ow. Damn. Okay. No, I got it this time. Definitely got it this time. You can hold and throw at your own uh, leisure. Okay, this this game has more interesting game mechanics too. Like there, there's just stuff that you know. There's some depth to the combat that I wasn't expecting. Like you can pulp enemies and then grab their corpse later. There we go. I wonder if there's going to be, um, extra characters you get to play as. That was the clone move. That was awesome. I mean, I hope Capcom makes more Mega Man games. I thought the last one they made was actually really good. I feel like... That felt like the beginning of more Mega Man, and then we just didn't get it. Oh god, no! Oh god, no! Emergency heal. That was tricky. I guess I'm kind of curious to see what a boss fight's going to be like. Damn. Ah. It's a lot of damage. My jumping was in time with the music for a second. I 
I think it works really well here. Watch. Nope. A little bit. I'm still getting emails asking me to promote Raid Shadow Legends, even though I've declined and have ignored for what's going on years now. I mean, I'm flattered that they like my wacky numbers so much. I get what they're doing, and I know that they would offer me some wacky numbers, but I really, really do not want to t do a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship, or any for that matter. It's just not me, but... At the same time, they are very persistent. And if they held me at, like, gunpoint... Chat. They had, well, non-chat. You know, chat's not here right now, but... If they ever did, then you would know. That was cool. Skills with the grappling hook, they said. Yeah, I still don't have the timing down right for the grappling device. Getting used to the controls more, though. Here we go.
So you finally came. Cable, step away from the main generator. The city needs it. Hmm. A heap of ruins. What exactly do you wish to power there? The Guardian Corps' pathetic defense systems? Cold shoulder treatment, huh? Very well. Let's get on with it. Oh my god, that was close. Heh, <laughs> so be it. The generator is yours. Just be careful what you do with it. Robot Masters. So yes, you do get ranked. Try the other mission. I will. But first, I need to take a quick moment. So I'm gonna pause. Um, Alright, so far mission one was good. Let's see if mission two is any good. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My... My whole existence right now... Is very sluggish and weird. Optic circuit. Uh, because have you ever had a dream that was really good? And then when you wake up, you try to go back into the dream? I did. This just happened to me. And I was enjoying the dream so much. It was just like me exploring New York City and having good food and finding cool places. That's really all it was, but I just remember it feeling really good. It was just a nice feeling. And, um,. I went back to sleep. Oh, and then I was riding my bike at night in the city, and no one was there. Like, no one. In some weird, idealized version of New York City. Love that heat effect on the uh, visuals in the background. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's just hard to explain why the dream was so good, but it was. And I went back to sleep. I think I got another 45 minutes of sleep, and I actually managed to get back into the dream. And even though, I would say, altogether, I slept about... Let's see, two to th One. I'm gonna say I got nine hours. Which I like to get eight. Seven or eight is good for me. I got nine, which doesn't seem like an excessive amount. You know, as, as nine is, like, somewhat recommended to... Awful. I, I just feel like I'm in some kind of, like, fog world. It doesn't... It's not good. I mean, it's still enough that I can enjoy what I'm doing here, but, you know. I'm- I'm gonna be just fine. I'm just a little bit, uh, tired. Oi. Oh, whoa! No, no, no. Oh, I forgot to set up the things. Let's 
try that this time. I also, let's see, so we got Cycle Kick, Emergency Heal, Crash Impact, Heavenly Pile Drive. I want to try this Hookshot one. Yeah, we'll try that. I like that it also looks different when you upgrade it. Oh. Oh yeah, these enemies. Well, that sucks. I, I really thought that was gonna be, um... Blocking my, uh... Or, or I thought that was going to latch the hookshot on. I was doing fine before, now I'm doing ass. Still good. Oh, you can destroy that. Again. Oh, why? Why? Well, one, I didn't need to grapple onto that at all, but I think the grapple length was just enough to get my uh, myself killed there. I'm assuming with the currency in the full game, maybe you could eventually um, buy upgrades and like powers and stuff. Oh god. There we go. Interesting hazard. I didn't want to heal. That's definitely... Is that supposed to be cracked like that? Because, I mean, every other thing that looks like that, you end up breaking. Oh god. Oh my god. Gonna do another heal. Yeah, Emergency Heal is going to be one of those ones. When the full game comes out, I'm probably going to end up using that quite a bit. But also, as you get better at the game, you probably need it less. Uh, 
Ugh. That was almost impressive. I'm something of a speedrunner myself. I'm not. Some of you know me from my famous slow speedruns. Now, some would say that that's just completion of a game without worrying about trying to complete it fast. And I would say... Give a man a match, and he's warm for the duration of the match. Light a man on fire, and he's warm as long as that fire ravages his body and uh, burns his skin, I think is the phrase. That's, that's the expression. My earliest memory of tubes is in Metroid. In the very beginning of the game, there's just a big tube corridor. And I have uh, some very familiar, fond, and distinct memories of that tube corridor. I guess that's in Brinstar. Do love me some Metroid tubes. Oh. Well, this is a new thing. fantastic level design. Whoa! It's got that perfect balance between um, stage hazards, standard platforming, and good enemy combat. Like the best Mega Men. We're all about this, including Mighty Number no. 9, which was the best Mega Man. Please note, this is a joke! Ah, almost. Please note, this is a joke! Please be aware! Hmm. You are right on time. I like punctual opponents. Ray, I'm gonna punctual in the face. This is not a race. Innocent bots are in danger. Hmm. Why should I care? The circuits should be commanding the weak, not fight for them. In spite of your speed, you've gotten soft, Kai. Show me then that your gears haven't lost their teeth too. Oh my god! Oh! Well, why do you get to do that? Dude's got a god move. I 
I see. Oh, these fights can go pretty quick. They're very action-packed. It's a little bit of a cop-out descriptor, but I like it. Good, very good. However, your fight isn't quite over yet. You better prepare yourself. For the full game, which will release sometime in 2023, I would imagine. I also, um, hope they finish 30XX, because that was also really good. And, uh, I enjoy playing it, but it's, you know, it's not done yet. Oh, I missed a bunch of secrets, too. Alright, so this is gonna be a short full sauce video. Um, wait, try the other mission. What if I just get stuck in a recursion loop of me going back and forth between the difficulty, uh, between the, the things there. Oh, you got, okay, easy and normal. You can change all of the controls. On-screen timer. Oh, for, like, speed run type shit, okay. Well, again, this is a short full sauce video, but I just wanted to check this game out. I wanted to give it its own thing, because when I see games like this, I am excited. I love modern interpretations, you know, and some differences to my favorite classic games. Much like Shovel Knight being a really great version of, like, DuckTales and Zelda 2 and Mega Man. This has its own, like, unique spin on Mega Man in a way that I think is really fun. Um, really well thought out level design, good controls, tight responsive gameplay, and some clever mechanics. Again, nothing overly complicated, but grapple hook, you know, some special charge powers, some hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is not really... I mean, Mega Man has had melee with zero, and uh, but traditionally it's been like a game where you shoot. So it's nice to play a game that's similar to Mega Man, has a similar vibe and feel, level of polish, but also different style of gameplay. I do wonder if there's going to be more characters and that you can shoot when you do eventually play the game. But I really enjoyed my time with this. Good demo. Looking forward to the full release, whenever that may be. Um, you can see here the build is actually, uh, by the time I'm recording this, it's actually a couple months old now. So, um, yeah, I just heard about it recently. That's Gravity Circuit. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm a fan. And now to watch the Mega Man cartoon show from the 90s. Now I've got your power!